Hello and welcome back to the Busy Bug Homestead. Today I am going to be doing sweet corn. Um, I covered my bed back here behind me. I didn't do a very large plot because I've always struggled with corn. We have deer in this area. They grow corn in the fields across the way. I think it's far enough away to where it won't cross pollinate my corn that I'm doing. Uh, but that's field corn that they grow over there. So I've always struggled with corn a little bit. So I'm going to um, not do that much of it just until I get it down. But this is the area I'm using. I covered it with a compost. I've got it pretty square. I would say it's it's a pretty decent square. And I'm going to just plant a gigantic block of corn. These are the seeds that I'm using. I just picked these up from the garden center. Um, actually, I think I picked them from Walmart, but I'm sure they sell them at garden centers. Also, it is the peaches and cream hybrid sweet corn mix. I have four bags of these, which yield me this many corn kernels. I rehydrated these last night. I let them soak overnight because it was recommended. Everything I read about corn said to give them their best start at growing by rehydrating them. So that is what I did. I don't know how many are here. I'm just hoping we can fill this, this space here. So I, this is not gonna be a very long video because there's not much to this. So I'm going to plant these every, um, about, it says four inches on here. I'm going to try and rough out four inches because I don't honestly have a measuring tape out here and I don't feel like going to get one. So I'm going to kind of guess on four inches um, and then one and a, one to one and a half inches deep. I think that the stick that I brought out to make my holes, I measured at one and a quarter just to be on the safe side that it's somewhere between one and one and a half. Okay, so I'm going to plant them. I'll show you what I've got when I'm done, which will just literally be that soil block because there's not going to be anything growing here. So I've got three rows that I haven't planted yet, but I just took my stick and all I'm using is a dowel rod that I measured the length on with the sharpie can't really see the mark because the soil is really dark but i can see it when i'm poking holes and um, i have my hydrated corn seed i'm just going to pop them down in and cover them up all the way down yeah there is still grass in here i tried to get it all out i couldn't it's fine put that in pop it down and i'm just gonna do that all the way down for these three rows I kind of compressed the soil a little bit. It made it uneven. So um, it'll even itself back out in the rain. But I have three rows here. And then I still have the rest of that to go out there. So we'll see how far we make it. All right. So I planted up this whole block. They are about like about four inches all the way square. I still have a lot of seed left. So I think I'm going to try and experiment. And I have some big pots up in the top yard that don't have anything in them right now. I think I'm gonna try and plant a couple of blocks of these seeds up in there and maybe one of the raised beds, my hands are filthy, one of the raised beds that I also have in the top yard. As you can see my hose is there, I was using that to keep a straight line for the most part because by the time I get to the end, it gets a little sloppy. I'm gonna try planting these in some other areas and see if we can do like a comparison on how growing it in different conditions goes with the same exact type of seed since I have so many extra. So Let's check out it's been a day since I planted a couple days since I planted my cornfield and I decided to come up here and plant in a couple more areas because we're doing a test. So I have these pre-sprouted seeds um, and there's a bunch of mud in there, but I planted a bunch more and I'm going to show you where I planted them. But the really cool thing is I left these overnight in, um, not in the water, but they were pre-soaked and they've started sprouting. So I made sure to keep them damp. Let's see, like. I don't have my little tripod, so hopefully that's not too shaky. Um, I'm going to show you where I decided to put them. So I built another garden bed right here. This is just my Frankenstein yard this year because I've got garden beds everywhere. And I'll show you the rest of the stuff when I do a walkthrough in, later on this evening. But I made this little box and I planted, I think I planted six rows. You can see the corn started popping back up. I'm just going to push those back in when I watered it. No soil settled. But I planted a bunch of rows here. And hopefully some corn is going to come up. In the corners, this is messed up and bent. It's, I don't know how I ended up bending it, but I did. Um, in the corners, I planted some butternut squash, uh, the little honey nuts. Because they're also on that side over there and I want them to climb. So I put them here. When the corn starts sprouting in here, if I do get sprouts, I will put beans next to them. So they follow them so they trail up. But this is experiment one, a little garden box that I made for some of the extra corn. And this is experiment spot two. So I had two of these big pots, they're exactly the same size, and I planted a ring 
around. There is six in the ring and one in the center. So there's seven in each pot. And these are going to be my patio planters of corn. And we're going to compare all the peaches and cream in field, garden box, and container. And that is going to be my experiment for this year. Um, since I decided to not do potatoes this year, which I know was probably one of my more popular videos. And I was going to do potatoes and I was going to do a bunch of potatoes. Ran out of time, ran out of space, ran out of energy. <laughs> so I'll continue potatoes next season. I'll do the bigger potato planting um, when I have my designated space. Because right now, too many things are moving and almost all of my gardening plants are in this small little garden area that I'll show you in the walkthrough. So if you want to see the walkthrough of everything I've got going on right now in the garden, stay tuned because that will be coming soon. So anyway, thank you for joining me while I planted some corn and looking at all the different things I'm doing for my experimenting. And we will see you next time. Bye.